Hey guys, it's Lex and Courtney, and you are here again this week listening to an episode of The Pleasure is All Yours. Uh, we are here again to obviously promote sexual liberation in the black and queer community and really just wanted to make a space for the girls to come and laugh and talk and kiki and really just emphasize that the pleasure is it's all yours, baby. It's all yours. Mm-hmm. wow another sunday wow not just any sunday though bitch because you know what this week is it's our anniversary it's our anniversary so- Damn, we've been doing this for a whole motherfucking year. Yeah, literally. Fifty this is episode fifty one, I think. Yeah, it's episode fifty one and then mm-hmm. this the Wednesday will be like officially the year mark that we released our first episode. Oh my god. Fifty one weeks ago. Wow. Finished. Talk about dedication. Yeah, it's like we're doing that shit. Consistency. Yeah. Wow. Well And to celebrate. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's what I was gonna say. Well to celebrate. Um <laughs> one year anniversary we have a very special guest <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself yes my name is diamond and i'm a director can i just say yeah and i tell black women stories that's what i do yes and yeah tell black women stories and i make sure black women are hired to tell those stories Talk yeah shit. but can i say when when you said and you know what this week meant this week is i thought you were gonna say leo season that's how upset <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys know what she is do you know what's like very much so okay yeah 100 percent through and through yeah i love that about you as you can tell from the hair the general vibe and everything is there but we just love a bitch that's consistent though so Definitely. it's uh-huh. just you give bringing consistent energy and that's just i love that yeah can i tell you sydney was hurt when she found out my ruling planet is the sun Oh, she's yeah. hurt by that. So <laughs> and she's a Libra. Yeah, so she's just really hurt. Like, yeah. why would your ruling plan to be the sun? I don't know. Yeah, just blessed. Hey, yeah. listen, I still don't understand the the houses and things and such. It could be complicated. Yeah, so complicated. I have it all in my notes. It's all in my notes, like what my houses are and everything like that. It's all in my notes. Do I know what it means? No. You get into it though, because you're yeah. already into the to astrology and general, yeah. And I feel like that's that next layer is. It's so deep. Love it, love it. Yes. Well, every week we do start off our episodes with a pleasure moment slash catch up, you know, really just talk about what brought us pleasure, sexually or not, in the past week. So, Court, what was your pleasure moment? My pleasure moment, let me move this down a little bit because mine is so small. Um, (laughs) My pleasure moment this week is probably spending some time with my family, specifically Mm -hmm. my grandmother. up north we went up there for her birthday and yeah i just spent a lot of time with my little cousins and just surrounded my family Love and it. it was a great time i wish i didn't have to come back so soon hey next time maybe you can like you know pto that hoe yeah definitely cause I stay so be. stay longer yeah. yeah yeah what about you diamond what's your pleasure moment <laughs> well i think I, I i would say it's like painting like it was really nice but I they clone Tyrone was so good like I just felt so good about it as like an artist as a creative so I feel like that was like and me and my partner going to do that we in Texas now so it was it was it was a pleasurable moment I love it I have it on my watch list because I've seen I've seen so many tweets about it now so I'm like I have to I did just watch I don't know if it has the same vibe but it sounds like it would have the same vibe as um Sorry to bo- not to bother you. Oh, sorry sorry to, bother. to bother you. Yeah, I didn't see Very that. Very sim- like similar, like in the in the insanity of it all. But okay, like not in the director style, but it is fantastic. Okay, I think you'll love it. It's funny. It's so it's, funny. They picked the perfect actor. Oh my god, the Jamie perfect Fox that shit. Jamie Fox. Oh, Jamie Fox is like he every time. That nigga. See, and I, but I love that, okay, I'm not going to get too into movies, but, like, John Boyega has really been in two mm-hmm. great movies this year, and mm-hmm. it's just, like, he did his thing. And that's See, a beautiful like, man, like too. Like, he's oh, in the Yeah, oh and that is gosh, a beautiful yeah. man. That yeah. is a beautiful man. It it's giving dynamic. I'm, yeah. I'm giving saying, dynamic. love it. Oh, yeah, that's, like, uh, usually when you see a director and they have their favorite actors and stuff, like mm-hmm. Tim Burton and, oh, what's his name? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, okay. What, um, what is your pleasure moment like? Um, 
I have to think back. Oh, there was, uh, I did get to hang out with one of my friends over the weekend, which was nice. But I think my pleasure moment actually was one day it was so hot. Like, I was just so hot, like, in the office. I was hot outside of the office. Like, it was just really hot. And I got home and immediately, like, changed to a swimsuit and jumped into the pool, like, immediately. And then I was just there for a little bit. So I think that was really nice because I just literally sat there floating. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you get to just do that, you mm-hmm. know, like you're like, fuck it, let me just go to the backyard, yeah. strip down, jump in. I did your backyard. Yeah. Wow, what a delight. Yeah, like it's really it's nice. It's clean, it's always clean, always fresh towels. It's, so, it's like a little fresh spa. Fresh towels okay. is like Yeah, really I mean, if you want to go swimming, we can always yeah. go swimming. My house is jump literally. Away. I need to pull up. Yeah, absolutely. This, I, I go with a fish. Yeah, there's like a there's a surround sound thing out there too, so I usually we can it's like Bluetooth experience. the phone. Yeah, it's perfect. It's like it's literally I'm perfect. Trying to tap in during the OC. Yeah, absolutely. And the sun will still be out. It'll yes. still be hot. It's perfect. Yes. Okay. Everything is about Leo season. I'm wow. sorry. You should just I'm relate so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, we are not talking about astrology today. So, but we could. Like, we could always circle back. We can circle back. We can circle back. Day one. Yes. That's the crazy it's part. It's only day one of Leo's. But but that's why I'm saying the energy is consistent because that's exactly what I would expect of a Leo. Yeah. Like okay, so I, when I got home today from my trip, I haven't seen she lives now. She's living with me just for a little bit, and I walked in the house and I was like, "Hi, how are you doing?" And she goes, "Hey," and as I was running outside, she goes, "Oh man, I thought you were gonna say Happy Leo season." <laughs> I'm just like, "Hey, no, bro, I just Leo missed season. you." <laughs> but I'm only I like this during Leo season and before Leo season. Okay, and so, a little bit after Leo's season. Uh, well, like, I, okay, I'm not even talking about astrology because I'm a, I have a lot of Virgo in me too. So it's like I still, if you, you honestly have a really good end of the year because then it's your partner's uh, season, Libra season, yes, and, then and then you have your, a lot of Libras in my life. I have in your millions life. of Libras, and then I have you, and yep. then, um, and then I, I have a Sagittarius moon mm-hmm. and a Capricorn rising. So it's like. Wow. It's just like always <laughs> consistently it's about true. me. Like obviously, look at this. I love it. Yeah, and that's how I think that's how it should be. It's yeah, all the ruling planet yes. is the sun. Yeah, what revolves around the sun? Everything. Everything. There Period. you go. <laughs> okay, so today again. Well, not really today. I'm not going to skip the fun fact because I do have one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And you know, we like to keep it um animal friendly here. So, I just thought that this one would be one that you would enjoy because it's about a bisexual animal. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, um nearly all bonobo monkeys are bisexual. Nearly all? Nearly all of them and 75% of them, 75% of the sex they have is not for reproduction like at pleasure. all. Yeah. yeah, they only get pregnant like once every 5 years. Whoa. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um wow. they have like uh they apparently they do this thing called uh geneto geno, genital rubbing between the adult females. <laughs> that sounds like real life. <laughs> One female facing another clings with arms and legs around a partner, sending the head and feet to the ground, and then they rub their genital swellings together. So they're basically like scissoring monkeys. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would I wouldn't like to see it. Like, that's not what I mean. It's more just, like, that is something to see. Like, that's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if we have seen it and, like, didn't know we were seeing it. Maybe. Like, because we're like, oh, yeah. like a uh, mom and dad. Embracing. Those <laughs> niggas are wow. gay. <laughs> I love that for them. Yeah. Like, we really are just, at the end of the day, like, all the same. Yeah. We're just like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all just want a little pleasure. I love it. Okay, well, now, pleasure principle um, of the week is little things, embracing the little things. Why it's so hard for us to actually also embrace little things, and I feel like living libido loca, um, our episode also talks about that a lot, like why libido isn't a thing, but this is more so like just the little things in life that make you happy and why it's so important to like stop and like forget about what's going on around you. At least turn your brain off for a little bit. Cause I say all the time, I just feel like not being a person today. Yeah. And like what that means is I'm not a person. I don't know anything. I don't have any answers. Just a baby. I'm thank you. I'm just a Barbie, man. That's it. Yeah, that just I'm just Barbie. sitting here. You know, and Diamond, I wanted you on this specific episode because I think you're someone that all week you've been like 
we need to celebrate ourselves, celebrate our accomplishments, the little things. Like, yeah. girl, when you decide you want to quit that job, we're going to go celebrate that day. Yeah. After you put in your oh, two weeks, we're going to celebrate that day. When your two yes. weeks are up, we're going to celebrate that day. When yes. you get a new yeah. job, we're going to celebrate that one. All of it. All of it. Perfect. And I love that you remind me to just, like, stop and look at the little things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I wanted to ask for your, you know, advice. I mean, I want to say that, like, I think it came out of living in such a dark place for so long. Is that, like, yeah. literally, like, everything I wore was black. Everything was black. But then at some point in my life, like, I... I started to see bright. I started, I started to see in color and I feel like life got very colorful. So I started to like appreciate life differently. And so that's where it comes from is like, we deserve to celebrate everything. Cause I feel yeah. like every single thing that we do, like I started to write down my wins lately, like my five wins a day. Cause it's like five like, wins a day. And it's like, but it's like, Oh, I made my, my lunch. Today. Little things. Like, oh, I, um, little things. We went to go to the, we went to the movies. Uh, oh, we went out last night. We went to double D's. Like, even though we didn't get in because we didn't stand in line, it's like the fact that we got out mm -hmm. and went and yeah. got information about it, it was like, that's a win. Yeah. Okay. That is celebrating a little thing. What is my win for today? Yes. What is it? It's Sunday and you're in your house and you're chilling. I feel like you have wins today. Yeah. You got to take a nap. I don't I know. Did. I did get to take a nap. I got to take a nap. I gave myself the time to take a nap. That's, that's a good win. win. What's your yeah. win today? I got to see my nieces today, yeah, my nephew. Yeah, really yeah. And they were sleeping when I got there, but then when I woke, when they woke up and they saw me working on my laptop, like when they they were like giving their mom a hug, and then they realized I was there, and it was like everybody was up, like everybody was up. Was and then the the one year old, he you know he just recently learned how to walk, and so he was like crying when he came out of the room because obviously. He wanted to sleep more. And I just picked him up and put him in my lap, and he just stopped crying. He just stopped crying. And when he comes up to me, he likes to just lay his face on my face, or he'll put his hand just on my face and just stare at me. I'm like, what's up? And I got cherries from the store, and they've never had cherries before, and they ate, like, almost my whole fucking bag of cherries, which was $12. Oh, oh my God, girl. <laughs> it's called I Need That Back. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, but that was really nice. I'm gonna go back tomorrow and swim with them because I just didn't feel like it today. Oh, you were gonna go swim with them today? Um, yeah, but I just I didn't feel like it. It's hot. I'm tired. It seems like once today's a cooler day in mm. Texas, though. I thought I was gonna have time for a nap, and I don't think I'm gonna have time for a nap today, which is unfortunate. Sorry. But it's okay. I'll live. We have little wins. I little have wins. For you after Okay. I'm it's a joint. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, I'm scared. Like what? Like I'm, I'm, I mean, I wasn't scared, but you know, for dramatics, I'm scared. Like scared? Yeah, okay. obviously. Like yeah, okay. every time. Cool. Yeah, I was like, is that your sad? Is it? it is. <laughs> I love it. I'm Miley Cyrus. I love it. Okay, I love it. I love it so much. Is there much. a black woman? Nicki Minaj? No. No, don't do that. We will not. We shall not. There's so many. There's like, there's another one that's coming. Is it Lotto? She's sad. She's not. Yeah. She, I don't, like I don't hate Lotto. Okay. Don't come for me if Lotto has a, a stand group. Lotto, lottery winners. <laughs> um, lottery. The lottery winners. What do you want to say? The the, the Native Americans. No, the, okay. the mixed the mixed crowd. I don't know. The ye Move the high up. yellows. The high yellows. There you go. Um. Anyway, I just don't really. It was yeah, just like the Sag. Right. I don't know a lot of Sag women, so that's why I brought her up. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like that's her. where the I feel like that's where the brattiness comes from. Ooh, is yeah. her Sag? Really? I really feel like that's where it comes from. My only child is my only child, but, I don't think but that I mean that just fuels it yeah. though. Like, come on. It was, it was written in the stars, it but you know my parents really solidified that. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I mean, your grandma, but that's okay. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so in regards to simple things, um, it is like really hard, obviously, for us as a, as a society to really embrace things like, oh, the it looks really nice outside. Wow, the clouds look really nice today. It's really hard to embrace that when we have such a fast paced moving society. Um, and the like the instant gratification of everything, like mm -hmm. all consistently seeking the new thing. And also on the flip side of that, just not having like it being pushed in some ways that not being productive is you, you aren't you don't have worth if you're not productive. Mm -hmm. And of course, people want to feel worthy. They want to know they have worth. So you're obviously going to keep 
trying to always be doing something productive because that's what you feel like you need to be doing. Right. Yeah. You don't, but that, that, that there it is. Um, and basically a simple thing, if you don't know what a simple thing is, a simple thing is just something small, easily accessible for most people, your favorite meal, seeing like your favorite person at the end of the day, getting into the bed at, with clean sheets after a fresh shower. Putting a, I love a candle on while I'm in the shower. Lights yes. Off. Like that's mm-hmm. a vibe for me. Yeah. yeah, so like simple things like that. Um, that you have control over. That you have control over. Like literally, once I get home and once I close the door, that's it. Like that's it. It's just walls, and nothing else is coming in. Nothing else is going out. And I think for me, it's really even about like if I just turn off my phone. Yeah. Like, I feel like like in a Donald Trump world is where I had to yeah. learn like, oh, this is internet stuff. This is internet stuff. So if I just t- close the close my laptop, not get on Twitter specifically, yeah, I go outside. The world is moving at a regular pace. Yeah, it's normal. Nobody's worried about how productive I am. You yeah, know what I mean. So I feel like being present helps with with all. Of, yeah, all of that. it's. If, uh, I feel like lately it's been really easy for me to like move around less. Because and like not even be on my phone very much or even have like the desire to be on my phone because like while I'm at work like you literally cannot have your phone like anywhere except for the break room so my phone is usually in my bag connected to a headphone and that's like it and I'll hey Siri it or something like that you know but um ooh lost my train of thought yikes that's okay what time was that that's okay yikes. yeah either way simple things oh I was saying. I've, I've been finding it easier because I don't always have to have my phone on me, which is nice. And then most of the time, the people I'm texting, I'm usually with. So it's like... I feel like that's really know. nice. Yeah. And I have all my notifications off. Yes. That's so a there's that too. Yes. Y'all are good for that. Um, yeah. yeah. I need to get on that wave. I have certain, pe- certain people muted um, because I know typically it's a lot of information being given to me. Yeah. But I need to go ahead and just turn off the notifications. I guess I'm just like scared I'm going to miss like... Like a, like a job interview call or something. Oh, well, that's what the voicemail's for, babes. Mm-hmm. Check your email. Yeah. Email, you know, it's different. Usually if they're calling you for a job, they'll leave a voicemail yes. and they'll send an email or something. Yeah, very true. So there's that. If, you, if you're, I feel like also, side note, because I make calls outbound, the amount of grown adults that don't have their fucking voicemail box set up is crazy. insane. Just make sure you got that up and you're good. That's and crazy. They, they really want you to email you. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. okay. yeah, but like my Twitter app, like even my most, the apps I use the most, all the notifications are off because I don't, Same. don't distract me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't distract me. I don't want to see it right now. I want to see it when I feel like it. It's not already like a habit enough to just pick up my phone. So yeah. Like I don't want to pick up my phone and I see all this. All this yeah, yeah, like all yeah. Stacey like this, Brandy like this. I don't really care. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to see it. Another thing is like stress uh, is like a big reason why people even find it hard to actually slow down, which I mean, yeah. you know, if the sky is falling. It's literally an antidote though. Yeah. If the sky is falling, what are you going to like what are you going to do? But slowing down is like the antidote to being yeah. absolutely stressed out. And like the nervous system responds to stress really quickly, but getting rid of it takes a really long time. Yeah. Which is why they say, like, stress is a big killer of people as well. Like, it's bad for your heart. It's bad for your mental health. It's just bad for your body in general. And look at us. And it's like, oh, go ahead. No, sorry. I was like, it's it's a normal thing, but I think it really is about how do we deal with it. And yeah. I feel like that's been a big part of my journey lately is, like, yeah. for the last five years, it's like, how am I dealing with stress? And I feel like, and then not, it's not even about just what I'm removing, which is like mm-hmm. notifications, but what am I adding yeah. to my life, which is yoga, which is more time to be present, yeah. which is like enjoying these simple pleasures. Yeah. Making time for things that like don't pertain to being productive, being. Yeah, they give back to Yeah, me. exactly. That too. Mm-hmm. I try to, um, is this, can I say a little story? So um, I just, Think about like what my therapist tells me. She's like, if you start the yeah. day with a hundred dollars of energy, a hundred dollars worth of energy, and it's yeah. like I have to give you ten, give you ten. What is gonna give me ten back? Like, yeah. and it might be yoga, or might be a good meal, it might be my television show, right? Yeah. Like, I try to think about my energy as something that's 
monetary, you know, yeah. like how am I really spending it? You a, good, a, budget. a good a meal, budget. a good meal will do it for me every time. Hello? I'm sorry. Like Hello? naked in my bed by myself with mm-hmm. my fa- with a comfort show on, baby. That shows, I mean, that's, that's $20. Thank you, yeah. exactly. Put it back in the bank. It's Thank you. Just, it's just gonna give me everything I need. So this one, like, you know, if I had a bad day, that's usually my go-to. Or I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna take a hot shower and I'm gonna fall asleep. Um, I think self-regulating is also a good way to like mm. process through stress. Like you were saying, yours is yoga, and like some people, you know, you see a bunch of people crocheting and knitting and stuff mm. all over the internet. Um, yeah. People doing like makeup and things like that. They have their own things that help them decompress and I think having a hobby that's why having a hobby is so important or at least having something you're passionate about that is not like yeah. always connected to your what like you're or living to, like, yes or to earning to, money yes. or things like that yeah Mine yeah is, I think my adult coloring book yeah like, it's so chill you know mm-hmm. you just whip it out whenever you're feeling yeah, uh, and then you have this completed picture, and it's beautiful. It yeah, takes time, I'm so proud of you. But for it's that. like still mindless. Yeah, I love it. I really have been wanting to uh, paint. I haven't painted in like literally like months and months and months. But I don't know. Why you gotta paint your you? pieces over here still? Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think the main reason why is the the energy is just not. Like, where I am, it's just the energy's not there. It's not. And, like, that's fine. I'll deal with it. But it's, like, disappointing sometimes because I'm like, what else can I do? What else can I do? I don't feel like doing this because I just, I don't know. I miss living by myself. So when so you can't much. add anything, like, you're like, I just don't have it in me to paint. I just don't yeah. have it in me to do the yoga today. Then, obviously, I guess the issue would be you need to remove something. Yeah. But that choosing what to remove. Okay, is and that so was, difficult. that's another thing that I did make a point about in the outline. It's not always about removing things either. Sometimes it's about setting a boundary or just doing less Changing or contributing. The relationship with yes, exactly. Yeah. Just reconfiguring things to fit what you need right now. It doesn't always mean like, oh no, this can't go. It's just like when you have like, like, when you have a friend that's like, yeah, you're cool, I love you, I'm here for you 100% of the time, but baby, you got issues, and I can't. Like, I can, but I can't. And just changing the boundaries within that relationship, just because it's too much for you at that time, doesn't mean that you want them out of your life altogether, which is where changing boundaries comes in. But I feel like that applies to just about anything that you have within your control, you know? I mean, can't really control the hours you have to work. Right. I mean, you can control where you work most of the time, but you can't control how much you work um, most of the time. You can't really control how much your check is either. But think this about if you're working for other people. Yeah, Miss <laughs> Entrepreneur over here. She can yeah, all of that. yeah, it's it's tough still, but um, I mean, I figured out because I mean, entrepreneurship is nice though. To be yeah, able to have, like, a consistent check. Yeah, but I do want to say I feel like um, as it relates to what you're mentioning about mm-hmm. like removing things, I also think or changing things around. I also think it's like creating space even in a day's time yeah. to do some of those things because you might maybe you'll you'll wake up with a hundred dollars worth of energy maybe you'll wake up the next day with a hundred and sixty dollars worth of energy yeah. but you might not like i feel like each day you're not going to be able to to add to your life the same way yeah like i might take a walk on tuesday but wednesday i can't do it but but all of those things that we do for ourselves like it adds up and it matters. Yeah, I, little things. That's what, like, I don't know. That I know people jokingly be like, oh, it's the little things, you know, really and they're like, haha. Is. But, like, it really is the little things. And then it adds up to bigger things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like, and I feel like our pleasure moment is a great, like, example of little things because even if we don't have, like, something crazy to say for our what brought us pleasure sometimes it's something simple for like good two weeks we were like oh we got to sit in color today that was fun (laughs) (laughs) or we went to the movies and that was fun so you know just like literally just simple pleasures you know i yeah just simple pleasures um i did look up some statistics as we do here on tpay um and there was a 2020 new york post study that was conducted of 2000 americans um, and 47% of them, like, claimed that they had less than an hour of, like, downtime, of, like, relaxation, of me time. And I think it was, like, 32% of those people say they even count, like, flossing and brushing their teeth as, like, 
me time because they don't have time this in the day. day. This is every nice. day. And on average, as Americans, you have about an, everybody has like about an hour that they try to dedicate to not doing anything, even if that's like broken up into segments. That, that shows why we're operating in a deficit. Like, yeah. Why sh- that shows why people are so anxious or, because it's like there's no time. Like if you're giving 23 hours a day, yeah. to what, or eight hours to sleep and the rest to like doing things. Yeah. You spend 16 of your 24 hours like doing things out of your control. Like you have to work, mm-hmm. you have to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like That sounds like, nah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yes, Whenever I was laying this out, I was like, this makes me really upset. <laughs> Who are we blaming? White people. Henry fucking Ford. So white. Yes. My statement stands. <laughs> Because you know Because you know who had to vote for that? You know who probably voted majority of that? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not blaming you all, but I'm blaming some of you. We get to change that. Like, that, like I feel like that's like within our power. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it's like not easy, but no, it's not. we're changing. It's it right an uphill now. battle, especially for like people of color too, mm-hmm. because it's an everyday thing. yeah, literally every day. I literally yeah, yeah. I'm like, and I see it. You know, I'm in an office setting now, so I see it a lot, and it's like really irritating to me because I also have a really hard time like letting bias and like things like that slide like especially right in front of my face so i have to like one of my friends works there too i have to like hey calm me down because i really want to like per my last email a bitch real quick like really bad sometimes yeah sometimes you gotta let them know though I literally called. The, the, I literally was told them. I was like, "You're so irritating," and I I don't really care how that sounds, but you're irritating, and you're irritating me. So I need you to be quiet. How do they respond to that? Um, there's it's this guy who also has three baby mamas. Who's also this man is just on a different. He will just be like, "Ah ha ha ha, Lex, you're hilarious." I'm like, I'm literally not even joking. The work environment needs to be addressed. Like, sit down. It was peaceful until you arrived, sir. Everybody and... was enjoying themselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was another study that was done. Um, I actually don't remember, but it was done in uh, 2020 as well. Um, talking about COVID. It's, like, mostly, like, right when we're getting out of COVID and everybody, like, you know, trying to get to some kind of normal. Um, 78% of adults were saying that COVID is their biggest stressor in life. Like they were saying like it was the biggest stressor as in like families getting sick, them getting sick. Do I have a job? Do I not have a job? Um, where is, how are my bills going to get paid? Nothing's, nothing is paused, but nothing is open. So, you know, it was like a big stress for a lot of people. Um, in the same study, they did find that 49% of people um, said that all of these stressors affected their daily mood and behaviors. Like they went from being this one to this other, like snapping at people, um, lashing out, um, like, you know, just sort of bouncing around, not really having anything steady. Uh, 62% reported that the mass shootings were like a big stressor for them, which is like, and what is so crazy is that most of these numbers are over 50%. So it's like us collectively as a nation, seem to be more concerned about the things that matter than the people in power. And like, I'm not saying, especially after seeing, uh, what is it called? Not sorry to bother you. I'm just saying we should strike, you know, everybody's striking. I just feel like we should strike. (laughs) I mean, we're already in disruption period. Yeah. Especially with entertainment being disrupted. So I think it's gonna, I mean, things are going to change. They're going to have to change. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. Um, 55% of people reported that global warming is a big stressor for them because yeah. not even just like the climate Everything. changing, but I heard this one girl going on a on a rant about how in five years we're going to have to start paying for water, yeah. like paying for clean water. Um, food is going to be super, super scarce. And then, you know, you get on social media, TikTok and stuff, and you see all the waste that like grocery stores are putting out. You just see all these buildings just sitting here doing nothing. And it's like, you know, I just feel like we should be giving back. I feel like doing that something doing like something. Yeah. I just feel like at least, contributing less to our carbon footprint i don't know and also help people at the same time so there are organizations i feel like there's more organizations starting to yeah contribute to that it's like we it's like i don't absorb that information because it's yeah. so worrisome it's like there's nothing i can do about what happens in five years except for like what i can yeah. do today but that shit mm-hmm. worries me too but i just be like okay 
it's too much. It's all like yeah. Lot. Whenever I get into a spiral, I just think Elon Musk has so much money to solve like so many of these problems. They all do. All of them do. This makes me more upset. Yes, but I, and then and then my following thought is they're also the ones that are probably the biggest contributors True. to what the issue is. So really and truly, what it's am I bill. like? What am I gonna do? Yeah. Is your, see, and I look at it like, thank you, Courtney. It's the invoice yeah. that world hunger yeah, tab, baby. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I think like your generation and underneath is like actually going to do something about this. And I, but yeah. I also feel like it motivates me to make sure that I have more coins so that I can be more influential. And yeah. I, like I can spend more time in important spaces, like p- understanding politics and how to influence politics with money. Yeah. Cause that's just yeah. what, that's what's happening. Cause that's really, yeah. That's the game. It's like, I, game. it's like, I'm willing to do that, but I want to get to it my way, which is like, creating income through art and then how do i use that income to yeah. change this world yeah yeah and i'm sure you have a moral compass as well so that yeah, also is going to make it a little hard you. and yeah. i just like as the generations come there is more of a moral co- yeah. compass so i feel like because these folks that are making these decisions in supreme court they'll be gone one day and it's like we ain't gonna have to like, like y'all are old like, as fuck like y'all are old as fuck have, these people have kids okay and they are out here being crazy too it is vibe, but there's also they have kids and they are not out here being crazy That's yeah true. you know what i'm saying it's like, like they, damn you don't care about your kids future they don't care about their grandkids future you don't care like, about nothing except for right now i feel like that also that yes, is what yes. like a lot of politics is is like what's happening right now. What's going to be happening in the next so two wild. years? What, yeah. what can we do? But it's like is nobody's thinking about like years and years from now. That, yeah. This is just the conspiracy theorist in me. Oh yes, think please. That's because they are headed to Mars, bitch. They're headed to <laughs> Jupiter. They're gonna get on Elon Musk's SpaceX like Wally motherfucking shit. You really believe that? Because they go take watch, the fuck out. If you watch <laughs> For All Mankind, you will stop believing that. Is that a show on Hulu? It's a show on Apple, Hulu? Apple Plus, okay. and it's and it's um alternate reality. Alternate reality. Yeah. So maybe it's like three seasons, and two episodes are like present day mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. past and present day, and then the rest is alternate history, and it's great. So it's like is it's not, is it giving like Black Mirror vibes, but not like as creepy? No, it's so genuine. Okay, that is you feel like it's wow. Did we go to Mars? Like, yeah. did we really? But it's wow. so good. So I'm just saying, you will know how far we are from Mars. Okay, wow. and they need to let that shit go. Because Elon is not <laughs> need going to let that shit go. <laughs> yeah. Elon is not going to Mars. You can't even manage Twitter. Yeah. So wow. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay well um another stressor was um immigration 51 percent of people are very much worried about either being deported their oh family God, being deported friends being deported yeah. you know um anything like that okay. so you know that's Not why the whole, like the browns are stealing our jobs no 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 it's literally like like even like the 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 dream it was a dream dreamers. yeah, yeah the, even the dreamers. dreamers and like you know people who, who people who their parents have sent them here to have like a better education or anything like that it's it's a, a lot of them as well um i know one of my friends was saying that one of her friends is like concerned about like having to go back to his country because like you know something about finishing school and like now you know you you have to be doing school you have to be doing something for your visa to stay current so you know and it's like most people don't want to go back there because they've been living here their whole life so it's like it's like being thrown into a new culture and also imagine. just being like at the, at an age where you've been in a place for so long that's like if somebody picked up Mr. Donald Trump and dropped his ass in the middle of Mexico. That would be nuts. I, you know? Yeah. Be the crane and, and so do a favor for us. And so much of are, like, really collective. And yeah. Like, what, I'd just be like, what can I do individually? It's so hard, though. Yeah, it really is. But, of course, like we were saying, um, there are ways to embrace or just slow down and focus on simple things. It's not just loom and doom. Right. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to let you know that we see you, and yes. I know that this shit is stressing you yeah. out, okay, babes? Yes. And we just took a moment to acknowledge that it's okay, yeah. because we're all out here stressing about that shit, bitch. Mm-hmm. Over 50% for all of these, and then not the 47% being like worried that they're going to be sexually harassed or assaulted. Oh, that... <laughs> It's just like, alone, I just, I you know. Outside at the sun, and I'm like, okay, it's a good day. Cause this shit. Cause if so you focus, crazy, yes. yes. Like, but if I look outside, I'm like, all right, 
the, the world is it's okay. It's still turning. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we here. We on the yeah, podcast, but it's <laughs> goodness it's crazy. um but you can also just ways to slow down would just be like just sitting taking a deep breath like sit it's not even like you have to turn your phone off i i don't i know a lot of people hear that preach to them like turn your phone off like just turn your ringer off turn it put it on do not disturb and sit it on a charger across the room and like sit down and do something that you enjoy. I didn't realize how long it had been since I had like sat down and like sped read through a book because it was so good Mm -hmm. until I started like just doing little things that didn't really make me on my phone too much. I, you know, Apple does that thing where they tell you your screen time. Mm -hmm. So I haven't really been on my phone much, but uh, I think I had like sounds, rain sounds playing in the, in the background a couple nights when I, when I was going to sleep and it said that my usage was up 72%, and it was at seven hours. And I was like, well, if it was at seven hours, then how, like, I wasn't, I just wasn't on my phone this week then, you know? So it's just things like that. Put your phone down. I would say, like, take a walk. Yeah. I would also say, like, like spend time, like, asking yourself things, yeah. like, talking to yourself. Like, yeah. what do I want? What do I, what did I like about today? What did I not like about today? What do I want to eat? What do yeah. I want to do? Like, really spending time talking to ourselves and asking yeah. ourselves, what, what do we actually want? Yeah, and I feel like that can, that can be, like, meditation, journaling, mm-hmm. uh, things mm-hmm. like that, you know. Um, but don't stress yourself. all the rules of it. Yeah, Sometimes. don't, I was like, don't stress yourself out over it, though. Don't, yeah. you don't have to make a five-year plan right now. Or you don't have to anything. meditate for ten minutes. Exactly. One minute will work. Just sit down yeah. and breathe. Like, that's literally it. Yeah. Just sit down and breathe. Attune yourself to what's around you. Yeah. Yeah. And, you and, and, like, what's within. Because I feel like a lot of us don't, are not connected to our bodies. And, like, yeah. what different body signals mean. And so I think yeah. that's, like, really important, too, is, like, okay, is, is my heart being fast? Am I anxious? Like, just understanding. Like, am I, my head's hurting. Do I need more water? Like, just understanding yeah. things like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Especially the water thing. It's yeah. always like my first go to. I even like my scalp was itching so bad the other day. Mm-hmm. I drank more water and it was like, oh, we're good. So That's we the just, issue. You just yeah, you just dry. dry. Just yeah, just dehydrated. Sometimes when I have a headache, I know it's just because it's like, what have I been drinking today? Li- yeah. Literally, I didn't have two juices and no water. No water. So just juice. It's 107 degrees. Uh, come on, girl. Or sometimes if I'm like water. super anxious, I'm like, let me go take a walk. Like, let yeah. me go take a walk, and then metabolizing my energy, but it's yeah. like. Being able to know that when I'm anxious, it's like I need to metabolize my energy. That stuff is comes when we start to connect more with our body. Yeah. Sometimes just laying on the floor and staring up at the ceiling is what a is good way to slow to down. Yes. That one's really, yes. really nice. A bitch will just be in the closet for like 30 minutes and I'm like... Oh, yeah. That's such a delight. Yeah. That's like $50 worth of energy right there. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I was in my old apartment, I had a really deep and tall tub. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I would go sit in my tub and close the curtain and scroll on my phone. That was real nice. And if, like, <laughs> if we want to claim productivity, like these are productive. Yeah. Like, all of this is productive. Like, productive to self. Nothing. Yeah, like it's yeah. like productive for what I'm trying to do with my life. Not yeah. productive to please the algorithm. Not productive to get more followers. Not productive to make more money. It's yeah. like this is just productive so I can be a solid human being. Yeah. And I feel like, uh, for, like, I feel like when you pour more into those things... Then the other things that you try, you try so hard to be productive at, yeah. just sort of start to naturally flow and present themselves yes, to you, yes. because it's like, baby, you just need to relax. It doesn't the seem like universe, a burden. Yes. It's more like, yes. oh, I have these things I need to do. Because you have energy and you have exactly. energy and space at that point. Yeah. It's like, and also your decision making power might be different. It might yeah. be like, you know what? I'm gonna decide not to worry about this. Because a heavy stress will definitely affect your decision for things. Oh man. Hundred percent. Yeah, I've been in the and middle it spirals of spirals. Yes, I've been in the middle of the freak out, made like like a decision like rational me wouldn't. And then once I'm not rational, I'm like, bitch, you just made the problem worse. Like <laughs> you just prolonged the issue by reacting instead of just taking a deep yes. fucking breath, you know. See, so that happens to be too sometimes it's like, yeah. okay, I know I need to like eat a little 
better but then i'll just like oh i'm stressed let me like eat something i'm not supposed to and then now i now i've had i'm stressed out yeah, about I'm stressed the out fact that, that i'm eating all this shit <laughs> i've even exactly. gone like, three nights in a row i'm fucking freaking out and what what yes. what for me the freak out is what makes me go back and do it again that's yes, like exactly. it's, it's, awful. it's awful i might as well I'm, me, like, freak, might as well. I'm like yeah. bitch i'm but not i'm i'm like not even listening to my own self so i might as well get a little treat yeah yeah that's why like and but we always get back up. We always get we back do. up. But it happens. It's interesting yeah. though how like um, a self care can also turn into self sabotage. It when really you just can. Don't address yeah. when you're not really addressing uh-huh. the root of the yes. problem. Yes, that's why I was like spending time talking to ourselves, like meditation and journaling, because mm-hmm. like, okay, yes, I feel good, but like, am I gonna do something different tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Am I aware yeah. of the actual root of the issue? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I do catch myself in like a spiral about anything really i really will try to stop myself and i'll be like all right bitch look at this rationally hey take a second take a second take a breath does this sound plausible to you can you picture this scenario actually happening or are you just freaking the fuck out and it's like yeah, because why would that happen? Right. So it's like, bitch, calm down. Like, relax. <laughs> I'd be having to talk to myself like that. I've, like, 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 this girl was going It's irritating. I mean, you know, uh, Lizzie McGuire's little cartoon? Yes. That is literally a me in my head, and she's rude. Yeah. She's rude, yeah. but she's honest. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah, I appreciate her, because it's like, only yeah. she can talk to me like that. Only yeah. she can talk to me like that. <laughs> Anybody else? Baby, like, count your part. fucking days. Yes. <laughs> Um, focusing less on superficial things also is a really good way to shift your focus to simpler things. Cause like we all want to drop a bag and get a bag and step into the bag and be the bag. But like, sometimes you just got to be a shopping bag and that's okay. You can't, you can't even be a Birkin all the time and that's all right. Exactly. Rip me out the plastic. Do you ever feel... Okay, Katy Perry. (laughs) I was walking out of the grocery store and I was like, wow, I'm feeling like a plastic bag blowing through the wind. <laughs> and then, I mean, but I get stuck. I get stuck on something and now, now it's, now it's raining and there's wet leaves attached to me and everybody's like, why would you leave a bag out here? That's how I feel. That's I can see how I feel. that. I can picture that. Um, cutting drama out of your life is also a good, um, drama as in like, I don't even want to say bad juju because you can't really like it, it. Just bitch, if there's a lot of shit happening around you all the time, figure out where the energy's coming from. Like, and is it me? And, and is it is yes? It and is it you? Is it you? Is it somebody that's really close to you that maybe yeah. you're like something needs to change within within that relationship yeah. or anything like that? Do boundaries need Have to be conversations. changing? Conversations. People got to start talking about exactly, stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Talk about your feelings. Yeah. Like, I feel like being a better communicator has changed my life. Completely. Yeah. yeah. It helps yeah. with everything. Like, because I feel like I, even my relationship, I wouldn't be talking about stuff. My friendships, I wouldn't be saying nothing. But yeah. now it's like, oh, hello. You're going to get this communication. Yeah. yeah. I feel like lately I've been having a, like, I feel like for the most part, I'm really good at, like, even if it takes me a minute to process what I'm feeling, to at least, like, talk about it when yeah. it's, like, really, really on me, you know? But I feel like lately, I just be like, what's the point? <laughs> See, so I feel like sometimes there's those lulls too, where it's like absolutely. I want to, but also what's the point? Yeah, I, you know how I look at those moments is like, um, at least in in my partnership <clears throat> or in my friendship, it's like, hey, this is how I'm feeling right now. I don't want to talk about it, but at least you know why I'm acting. Yeah, so at least you know why I'm moody or why I don't want to talk to you or why yeah. I'm not how I usually am. I think that stuff is so important in our relationships because yeah. I feel like naturally sometimes people either think it's them, yeah, or they'll start to worry. But it's nice to just be like, yo. I'm definitely, I'm definitely a, this is just where my brain's at and I just want to communicate it to you. Kind of bitch. Yeah. Like we ain't even got to do shit about it. I'm just letting you know, this is, this is what's going on. I'm just letting you know, I'm in a, I'm in a something and I'm trying to get out of it, but I'm in it deep and I'm trying. Thank you. Check in every once in a while. Give me a few. Thank you. Exactly. That's really it. I definitely had to tell my friend that once this year or actually a few months ago like my my roommate we were just like really going through it and we had to sit down i was like bitch this is how i said this is how much i have to give it's like so small <laughs> i really just need you to ride through this with me i'm gonna do yeah. my best to like when i have the space give that give that space to us 
but at the same time i just don't got it on me right now please don't take this offensively this is not about you yeah us. it is i'm trying That's to so like stay above yeah water. i think like um being open to receiving that is important too yeah 100 uh, yeah. yeah. because like i know i'm not innocent in all my things yeah so. oh oh yeah. <laughs> not you like oh, <laughs> i wasn't worried about it at all <laughs> Can I say? Can I say something yeah. about cutting drama? I also Absolutely. Think it's like managing drama. Yeah. You know what I mean. And like, gossip. Too. Yeah. Like it's like okay. Let me figure out how I want to like. Because sometimes I just you know I be talking about what's going on on certain. Sometimes certain you like Instagram to keep pages. Sometimes it's but, good to keep Yeah, but sometimes it's like oh I can't. You know I think it's yeah. like if I can't cut it then let me manage it. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So. celebrity drama is a good way that that's like the first thing I think of when I think of gossip and drama yeah. I feel like a lot of people will get really caught up in like what the celebs are doing and like what they're doing in a good and a bad way like baby they got bands on bands and you work at paycheck to paycheck yeah, let me worry about that. thank you let me worry about that. thank you <laughs> you better create your own rea- become your own reality Hello. TV show star okay yes. you are the star thank yes. you yes. You know what's really funny is I was saying this at work. I was like, "Wow, you know, I've been in I've been in this office for a while, and there's no drama. Like somebody needs to stir a pot. Like what the hell? This is boring." But you know what's so funny is I said that, and then I found out like literally the next day that there was already drama brewing. I just didn't know until a few days later, and then once that drama started, I got like people just come up to me and say things. The drama ends at me. Like the tea is not going past me. Unless, like, you don't work there, obviously. Yeah. But, like, I'd be like, oh, my God. I just, I Y'all are crazy. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, I, it's, like, it's enough to be in a relationship. It's enough yeah. to, yeah. like, to, have, to work and have friendships. I can't deal with no mm. extra. Yeah. That's why I'm, like, I just want to eat popcorn and, <laughs> like, you know, what's Make going on? Thank thing. you. Exactly. <laughs> um, and I guess one, my last thing as to embracing simple things is just to shut the fuck up yeah Ooh, i do that so much on twitter and like and i mean, I mean stuff on twitter and like, <laughs> let, me just be, let me just be quiet like and i mean and i mean that like so genuinely like just girl shut up yeah. like so you don't have to say everything you don't have to say something to everything everything that's going on in your life also doesn't need to be like this big thing, big thing you know like I be having reactions, and then like two seconds later, I be like, "Damn, girl, like, what was going on? Chill. What was going on just now?" Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so That's I've al- really I've also just really learned to like, cause I'm really big. Uh, like, you can ask Courtney, I'll be like, "Bitch, you will never believe what's happening." Like, almost as it's happening sometimes, and I've really had to like get my shit together, cause I'm like, "Girl, <laughs> it's not even that serious." Tell her when you yeah. see her. Yeah. <laughs> like it, you'll be my fine. Sh- Ooh, my shit shows in my relationship. I have to be like, damn, I'm sorry. I did just cut you out. <laughs> Yo, you really have to be like, stop yourself. Like, damn, what that mean? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I, you're so sweet. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Even your, even like a dog. I'm sure children are the same way. They yeah. show you that, like, yo, it's me. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I learned to just accept my moodiness, and that's when I retreat. Because I'm like, I can be a bitch by myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's really amazing because it's like people yeah. just want to sit in their bitchiness around people like want to it's like why just or even fun. just like force themselves to because mm-hmm. i feel like force, a lot of people one, i feel like one. that's what a lot of people do they're like in a bitchy mood and they feel like it's that it's that productive it's that feeling worthy it's like being present i have to be present i'm upset but that's okay i need to put it aside because i need to be present in this yeah. moment i feel like that also really contributes to like absolutely because like girl Again, it's it's okay. Be a bitch. That's okay. Exactly. Just don't take it out on everybody. That's right. really the point here. <laughs> Give me a warning. Exactly. Um, and at the... Well, let's see. I can't... That's crazy that I can't see that. I can usually see that. Pretty sure it it's says 52. I think pretty sure it says 52. Anyway, at the end of every episode, we do like to wrap it up with some questions for the girls, um, which is literally just questions pertaining to whatever it is that we just talked about and they're usually like pretty fun like especially after talking about something so draining (laughs) um but my first question is how important is it to you to embrace the little things and to make time for little things i feel like it's like my priority yeah honestly like journaling taking walks walking my dogs drinking water 
uh, even when I'm like doing the dishes, it's like I'm here. Me yeah. and the dishes, me and you, baby. Yeah. When I'm like making my dessert, when I'm cooking my dinner, when I'm watching Barbie Dreamhouse Challenge, like it's like, oh, it's me and you, baby. That's, that's on my watch list. Yeah, it's like we, even when I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitter, you know. So I'm. Re- yeah. And that's not always been the case, but it's a priority because I realize how bad my stress and anxiety is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like, just like sometimes a bitch needs a little snack. And I feel like little things are like little snacks. Like sometimes, bitch, you need a little snack. A little snack. And sometimes it's like like a movie would give me like a hundred dollars worth of energy. Yeah. Like a good movie is like, this is so good. Yeah, I'm good yeah. for a while. I love that. Mm-hmm. What about you, Court? Um, can you repeat the question, Mom? Um, <laughs> what? How important is it to you to embrace the little things? Uh, I don't think it has been important to me um, because I feel like I don't have a lot of time. So I'm just like, on to the next one, on to the next. But like, you know, you have, like I've said at the beginning, you have really pushed me to be like, hey, you did this thing. Remember when you did that thing, that one little thing? Yeah. Like, you really did you, that. So you like, ate that one little that. thing. You made that one little thing. Yeah. You cooked that pizza. Like, you have come in this kitchen. You've been like, oh my goodness, look at you packing your lunch. Yes. Look, look at, at you, you with cooking your, your with your recipe. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you're right. I did do that thing. Yeah. And that's when I sent you that video of my watermelon salad. Yeah. Was like, it looks so shit. good. It literally looks so good. Yeah. It literally looks so good. Um. But yeah, I guess I haven't, but I am actively trying to do that because I think that's the that's the pockets of my life that'll feel feel fulfilling when I'm feel like I'm skating through everything yeah. else. Because I have things like there's just shit that has to be done in my life right now at this moment that I'm in. Yeah, that just has to be done. So, you know, I need to fill it with these little moments. Yeah, just little things. Even like you know. You know you love popcorn. Even like just go and get you some gourmet fucking popcorn. I've actually been craving fucking. I'm gonna do that. See, like it's like little yeah, a little to thing. Like, to like honor. Yeah, and I just want to say like, you was really chefing it up in the kitchen. Thank you. Like so it's Thank like you. if you can Thank like you. put on some music and vibe and enjoy that and give as that is your time to give back to yourself. Like yeah, some people are just like putting stuff together, you know. But it's like you're really good at that, and if you enjoy, it seemed like you enjoyed it because you was like taste testing and shit. You was I like, did. and I feel like if you can allow that to be time for you, like that could be beautiful because you're so yeah. good at it. Like Sydney was like, can you like I'm trying to get that recipe. Oh, I, I need to make that. She don't say that about what I eat, honey. I will be making this pizza Please. that I, I created. It did you make really pe- Did you make dough from scratch? No, I used Trader mm-hmm. Joe's flat bread. Okay, so but it, let me delicious. Tell you, all I did, was yeah, bread. delicious. All I though. did was took our our um, bruschetta that we that I make with you and put it on the the flat bread Ooh, and like yeah. took, and like made it like a pizza. Ooh. So it like my partner loved okay. it. So my mom, my mouth is watering because that bruschetta was fab. And it smelled yeah. great. Mm-hmm. It like, it's that basil it's pesto. Yeah. Trader Joe's hooking that shit up because it was 100% yeah. Trader Joe's. I love that. What about though. you, boo? Um, I think like at one point, I realized the other day that I've in, in like a real 360 right now and it like really, I try not to let it irritate me, but it did. Anyways, I feel like it used to be like a top priority of mine to like really focus on like what I'm wanting and like in what ways can I enjoy my day and make myself feel better and things like that. Um, but like lately I just feel like I'm so anxious about like direction and not even like direction, but like my plan for the year got disrupted Mm -hmm. with like things that, with everything that happened with my last job that really, really, really disrupted my whole plan for the rest of the year. So it's basically like me trying to reconfigure the rest of my year with new information and like new tools and new resources and things like that. So it's like also really hard because I'm also doing that in a space that I don't feel is like my space, which is like actually like really a big thing for me because Courtney knows and just about all of my other friends know how important my space was to me and how like how much time I spent there. Like, And how much time I was like, okay, well, you can come here because I don't feel like leaving, you know. Um, And so it's like a lot of things, a lot of really big things that really like brought me pleasure are now lacking. So it's like, okay, well, it's harder for me to find the simpler things because the biggest things that are pleasurable to me, I don't have access to right now. So can I, I mean, I'm in the exact same situation. Yeah. It's like while I live with my cousin right now, it's like. 
I feel like I'm gonna make. It's like all I can do is maintain at this point. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna just paint my toenails. I'm gonna just. This li- my I painted toenails. my toenails Barbie pink the other day you know, for the like, same I can't reason. Do any too much extra. Yeah. Because I gotta just maintain. I gotta just maintain. Yeah. Where I'm at because it's like I. We're, you know, it's like this four people in four things in here. Yeah. And it's like I'm. We're used to having our space, but it's like. It's like we. I'm like we in a transitional period right yeah. now, and we're very thankful. At the same time, I'm gonna just focus on maintaining. Yeah, because you know? so, I feel you like on just yeah. like, your things that help you. Because that's what I'm. That's basically. Yeah, that's basically where I'm at. And then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna have to get a roommate once the new year comes, which is also like, I love my friend that I'm that we are gonna be sharing a space together, and I have no problem about us like leaving each other alone. I really don't like not even a little bit. So um, it's just yeah, it's just still one of those things. Like, bitch, I like to be naked twenty four seven, like as often as possible. I can't do that in my fucking house. There's an old man that lives in my house. Yeah, yeah it's a little troublesome. Like, I can't do that. Got you. Okay, but my next question for the girls is, um, what are like a few little joys or even just one that you absolutely, with no negotiation, you have to have? I think for me, I really, and it's a dangerous one, but it works for me every time. Yeah. I love rolling a joint or two. <laughs> I knew she was going to say this. Taking a long drive. Like, sometimes I'll drive to That's Denton. So yeah. And, like, I'll just take the highway and I'll just keep going until I know, like, until it starts getting those exits that get a little further apart. Yeah. But I will just drive and I will listen to all my favorites. All my favorite tracks, they're usually, they're usually Hozier. Like, I just love him so much. He just touches my spirit when I'm feeling down. I love that for but, you. But, yeah, I'll speed down the highway. Not speed. I'll drive down the highway <laughs> Wait, why? with my little joy. And then when my joint's over, y'all, I get Brahms. And then Ooh, I eat an ice cream cone. That's a oh, yes, bitch. I eat bitch. an ice cream cone. Oh and then I light my God. other one on the way back. Yeah, bitch, that's a non-negotiable right yeah, there. I can I, see that. When I get home, I literally get out of my car, and I'm just, like, that dancing still cry. to, like, my music. And I'm just having a little high, and I know my room is ready for me to just pop in and go to sleep, because usually I'll take a shower and, like, yes. be ready to go. So yeah. I can just come back and just go to sleep. Yeah. And it is, like, a little reset button that's just so nice. It's me and my car, and I really love to drive straight, you know, especially mm-hmm. when I'm traveling. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm, like, it makes me want to cry. But, like, because but music is just... Yes, I love that. I gotta listen to Hozier. I think for me, no matter I, what I've realized, no matter where I go, I'm doing a lot of traveling lately. I take a walk. Like, yeah, it's 103 degrees out here. 108. I have my cup of cold water. Gotta get you a cute umbrella here. too. Yeah, I probably do because I saw some folks. But like, I'm yeah. always take a walk. For me, no music, nothing. It's just like for me that reinvigorates me every time, mm-hmm. and I feel like God talks to me the most like on my walk. So yeah, non-negotiable. Gotta take a walk. Wow. I love that one too. Um, I think, I think mine lately has been like literally just being quiet, like just the amount of times I just like ride in my car with no music or I'm just like sitting somewhere, no music, just sitting, doing nothing or even, yeah, I think that's probably like my biggest one is sometimes I just need everything to stop. Like, everything just needs to be quiet. And I feel like in those moments, I'm able to, like, um, like get out of my body for two seconds. Mm. And, like, when I zone back in, I'm like, damn, I can tell I was thinking about a lot. What was I thinking about? Don't fucking know. <laughs> but I definitely know I was having, like, a lot of racing thoughts, but I just wasn't present, which is, like due to the quiet and like then the, the sound of my car like the wheels and stuff like my on my drive home and most of the time to my drive to my drive to work that is my reset is literally just sitting yes. in the quiet because I want especially because like I, I all I hear is people talking all day mm-hmm. and music all day it's just a lot and by the end of my day but sometimes I'm so overwhelmed that the only thing I can do is go to sleep mm-hmm. so um, I feel like I really, yeah, just being in the quiet is, like, a huge, so huge help for me. Yeah. yeah. Or even just listening to my fan, like, just laying in my bed and listening to my ways. fan. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like so much we've made, well, humans have made so much about, like, what feels good come from social. Mm-hmm. But it's like that, that, mm-hmm. Brahms and driving like that is a vibe, like, yeah. sitting and being quiet. Like, those are the vibes I'm trying to create in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. I like when this, when it's so quiet, I feel like I can hear something. But I know I can't. That's so, good. so quiet. I'm like, there's no way. Like, you, like, sort of, it's almost like a dull ringing sound because it's I, so quiet. I hate that. 
I love that sound. That happens to me every once in a while, and I have to get up and like turn something on because it drives me crazy. I love that because I'm like, okay. Tune in. I'm like, there's no sounds. That's perfect. You're like super tapped in at that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to get one of those sensory deprivation uh, sacks that you can like hang from a ceiling, yeah. and it looks like a little teardrop. You just get into it. And it just closes all around you, but it's a thin fabric, uh, I like plan to do that sort of like office. aerial aerial rope. I mean, yeah. aerial silk is sort of. This. Well, so I've heard it, like I was into a podcast about sensory deprivation in general, and mm-hmm. I was like, I want to try it in the closet, like lights off, you know, oh noise, God, and like yeah. really try to well, tap in. There have been plenty of anxiety attacks that I have, and the first place I go, if you can't find me, the first place I go is in a closet underneath some clothes with like my knees to my chest and like my like sometimes I just have my hands on my ears or I'll just have my head on my knees and I'm just like sitting there because it's so enclosed and it that it's that quiet that I like too so I'm like dang just really like being in a comfy enclosed quiet space sometimes like it's just nice would you want to do that like a sensory deprivation because I, I, I did that you know like a yeah. few years ago and it was it was interesting but if you say you like quiet and you like and i know you love water yeah. you can't really feel it but i know like you're really comfortable in it mm-hmm. like that might take you to that meditation space that yeah like there i feel like the the times that i've actually like meditated successfully it feels like is when i've been in like a bathtub with my ears under the water and i was just sitting there just like listening to my breathing oh, yeah. I feel like that's like, that's and then and then I and then I'm like, wait, hold on, I don't know. It feels sort of like out of body. I'm like, am I here yeah. for real? Like, what's going on? I feel like yeah. that's when it's. But then that's when I freak out and I'm like, hello, what's happening? And I'm like, oh, bitch, I wasn't even here for a second. That's crazy. I think that's wild. But I think we should do that. We're gonna make that happen. Okay, I can't take a bath at my house, so I don't really know. Coming soon. <laughs> Oh, I, I love mean, that. I mean the official sensory deprivation. Oh, okay. You know, got all of the salt yeah. And you're mm-hmm. there because that's the thing I hated was the water in my ear. But since you like that, girl, this is has this is checking off I everything on your list. Yeah. I might yeah. Need to do that the even years. even when I'm like in the pool and I'm floating on my back, that's like my favorite part. It's like the the because the water just make everything's quiet. Nobody's making any noise. Like you're super present. At that yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I can just it's just me on the planet, and that's just really nice sometimes. Planet yeah. agree. The planet exactly. Would know. Okay, yeah. No, you're like with no Trump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can yeah. drop him yeah. on the moon. Like, let him go. Just let him go. Or, him on the moon. or just fling just him, just in him in space. Yeah, yeah. and let him float and just Very see Black what Mirror this season, episode three. Yeah. 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 Just, I don't want to kill him. Just take let him, him go. Let, let him just him. give him enough it's oxygen. Cool. Give him enough oxygen to where he won't die for a while. 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. He, he'll live out his expected life expectancy. Exactly. Send us just on a different place. Yeah, literally. He can block us from there. <laughs> okay. And my last question for the girls is, do you have a niche simple pleasure where, like, if you told someone, like, oh, this thing just makes me so, mm, do you have one? And somebody would be like, bitch, that's a little weird. I'm going to let you go or you go. Because I'm like, I feel like my... I don't know if it's, this is weird, I just, but it is like something I just really, oh my, it gets shivers in my spine, is when I get into my bed, pr- preferably, it feels even better when it's like around 10 o'clock exactly, like not later than 10, but my sheets are nice and cool, cool. and I just shave my legs, and like I rub my feet together so hard, it literally makes my whole body just vibrate. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is actually a very interesting simple pleasure. Yeah. See? Like you added in the feet rub, yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, everything okay. was yeah. like, yeah, yeah that makes okay. sense. And then, like, oh, okay. Got and then it. you get like shivers, and then my remote's here, my vibrator's right here, my my bong is next to me if I wanted it again. But I have a lot of things I could do. But you know what I always end up doing? Falling asleep. Falling right asleep. <laughs> you gonna fall asleep immediately in that same yes. position that like in the <laughs> same <laughs> position. Well, I feel like it's not it's not crazy, but like in the winter time, like after I'm done taking a shower, like I like to make sure. I like to make sure that my heated blanket is on so that yeah. when I get out that shower, it's like perfect. And I put that heated blanket on. Yeah. I mean, I I try to read a book, but I'm asleep. Yeah. I'm already I'm already asleep before I get in the bed. I yeah. love it. <laughs> um, I think I think mine would be like it's I don't know. I don't I guess this would be weird for some people. I don't know. Sometimes I like to sit in my bed and watch something but I usually like ha- will grab my feet and like flex my toes with my hand and it just really like 
I don't know. I'll just sit there, just moving my toes back and forth. Is that a stretching thing or a self-soothing? I think something? it's just a self-soothing thing. Yeah. Can you so. Demonstrate? Just, I just need to see. Oh yeah. You've see, you, I'm sure you could have imagined it. I know. I need to see it. <laughs> I usually just have my foot, and I'll literally just God, hold my feet. Yeah, but that's so comforting. Wow. And that's literally that. That's and so then I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like that to me is a reset sometimes too. It's just. Yeah. It's be those things. Yeah. That's maybe some Chinese reflexology. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Sending calming, you know, because the nerves are like this. Yeah. So yep. There's there, and I think one of my other ones would probably be like. Lately, I've realized just how much I enjoy a good cuddle, you know? And so even one of my friends came and spent the night the other day. And what happens when we spend the night is we always end up taking, like, the best nap. Like, we get super high, we eat some snacks, and we sit down to watch TV, and we fall asleep every single time. And we just always have such a good cuddle. And I just realized how, like good I feel when I get to snuggle with somebody that I care about and it just is like mm, I, what was I upset about what was I upset about I don't even remember because this is nice this is nice and it, if we're falling asleep cool if we're talking cool that's fine but like sometimes as soon as I get into a cuddle bitch I'm asleep because brain off body relaxed I'm going to bed we were having a conversation. I'm sorry. I'm sleeping now. So I'm asleep. <laughs> Can I say one? Well, I want to say one more pleasure. Like I realized, like I like specific kind of towels and specific kind of blankets. Oh like, yeah. Need, when I get out of the shower, I don't want to feel scratched. Mm-hmm. But you gotta I, have a I soft, need, like, fluffy, a soft, thick, big, long flush. Mm-hmm. Flush. And the same with my blankets. Like I'm so serious about my blankets. Like I have to have a blanket on the couch. I have yeah. To have a blanket when I'm working at my desk, like the, I'm a blanket and towel girl. Yeah, I love that. There's something. I guess yeah. I see now that's making me think of like really nice toilet paper. I feel like Ooh. that's a good paper one towels. too. Paper, t- yeah, like paper towels. Paper towels. There's nothing like yes. a sturdy paper towel. Oh like, my why god! Is this, am I getting scratched? Yeah, like, it's like I need something thick. I also have a thing for like certain size silverware. Like I like a nice, like oh god, medium like size spoon. Really? And I'm not a fan of forks. I like a small spoon with. I'm not a fan of forks, but if I, if you give me a fork, it needs to be a big one. See, those are simple They're pleasures because really it's like this helps me yeah. enjoy my food better if I have a small mm-hmm. spoon because I don't want a big bite. Of I don't. Cake. I need a like a medium spoon. sized spoon, and yeah. like if it's more wide than it is long, even better. Those spoons at Malai, I was like, oh my god, I want to put one of these oh. in my purse. Oh. Oh, all yeah. that stuff. But that's, <laughs> the stuff that's like when life feels hard. It's like, can I at least like have a good spoon? With my yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like, those are the things you can manage. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you can have a good manage. towel. Like, open the towel. open in the fridge and having everything arranged exactly how I like it. Exactly. Mm. Or having enough food for the recipe you. Want. Oh my oh, god! Man, yes. Not yeah. Yeah. It's Perfect. Just cold water after hot shower. Yes. You know See, it's little. Those are little things. I love it. <laughs> Waking up in the middle of the night, I have the water container. I have it. Literally keeps my water so cold so like when i wake up at like four in the morning i'm like so dehydrated i like water that makes the roof of my mouth hurt like, like cold it oh my oh. and it's like that's a it's delight it's so Life, good it hard it's like is my water cold i'll literally be sitting at my desk and i'm like oh this See? is really good <laughs> if it's between that and a freak out like think about how easy mm-hmm. it could be it's, it's like just- I got some good water. I got some good water. Some good water. Yeah, I, got I love some it. Clean rugs yeah. to step out on. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Clean socks, slippers, mm. clean sheets. Yeah. Make a list of all the simple things you have in your life. Yes. <laughs> Comment below on, if you're watching on YouTube. Let us know what your simple thing is. Yes. Um, Diamond. Before we head out, yeah. I just wanted to, you know, let you give an opportunity to tell our listeners who you really are, what you oh, like yes. to do. Anything you want to promote? Yeah. yeah. So um, I have a production company called Third and Wonder Production House where we tell black women's stories through documentary, docu-series, and branded content. Um, I mean, I'm just really excited to tell more black women's stories. I want to tell stories about climate change and hormonal care and all that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think. I also have a podcast called Creative Women Wanted Podcast. Um, I have a podcast coming out with my partner soon. And that's it. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you. Yes. Where, see, where, where can the people find oh, yes. you? At the real diamond, uh, diamond with the E um, on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I be at. Yeah. Thank yes. yes. Thank you for coming on, Diamond. You're so inspiring. Thank you. To me. And especially my podcast partner. You're always yes. here to like, you know, answer any of my little technical questions. Yeah. Hey, that anniversary shoot, we needed another pair of eyes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, you were 
definitely an assistant production that. on that one. Yes. I, that, I was really inspired by I that. was looking, I was looking at the BTS and I was like, oh my God, this, it, it hit me what the pictures are going to look like and like what kind of promo we can do. And then, you know, our most recent business adventure like laid right out on the table after we were just complaining about how we wanted to collab with a local and we couldn't. And then, boom, a week later, bam, crazy. That's crazy shit. Won't he do it? Won't he fucking do it, y'all? Yeah. If you've never heard of us before today, this is where to follow us. All your pleasures, underscore on Instagram, TikTok, threads, I guess, if that's still a thing <laughs> um, right now. Um, follow us, I mean, subscribe on YouTube. Click that subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, say hi to our beautiful faces. We're so cute. Comment below something funny about us being cute. <laughs> um, yeah, whether you're listening to this on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever the fuck, have a great week. Uh, happy anniversary to t -Pay. Yes. We love you. Thank you so much for giving us one year of beautiful content and audience interaction. And we've had such a fun time yeah. doing this. We can't wait to do it for like a whole bunch of years. He, literally. Yeah. Pleasure coochies to the end. To the fucking end. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Hush, hush, hush.